open your Bibles to Luke chapter 1 I'm gonna give you the story of the forerunner to the sun Before I start, let me set the context 100 years ago, Yahweh stopped giving utterance And here we are in the land of Israel Hellenism's taking over, but God, he will prevail This guy's father's name was Zacharias One of Israel's priests from the division of Abijah His wife's name was Elizabeth They didn't have any kids, but they were blameless and righteous Now as his pops made the nation's daily penance An angel of the Lord came to the altar of incense He declared that they would have a son Even though his wife was barren, God could provide one Zacharias didn't believe what he heard So until his son was born, he couldn't speak a word You must be Elijah. No, nope. well, tell us who you are. Some people sent us to find you. Please know I'm just a voice in the wind. Cry and make straight the way of the Lord and repent of your sin. Now flip with me to Matthew chapter 3. From his daily outerwear, he's rocking camel's hair. In John 1, we see he's not the son. Back to Mark chapter 1, he is the voice of one. In the wilderness, telling people to repent in order to receive forgiveness. And then Judea and Jewish crowds come to meet him, being baptized in the Jordan. Oh man, this is deep, bro. And culturally, this is not the norm. Only Gentiles were baptized because they were scorned. He said, You better not try to bleed a rat to come because you gotta bear fruit. The axe is at the root. Even though it's with water I baptize, one is coming after me who's mightier than I. He's so holy and his spirit will abide. Know that I'm unworthy, it's sandal I can't untie. You must be Elijah. No, well, tell us who you are. Some people sent us to find you. Please know I'm just a voice in the wind. Cry and make straight the way of the Lord and repent of your sin. And I turned the scripts to Mark chapter 6. Herod took his brother's wife and got up in the mix. Now, based on the Old Testament text, this unlawful act would commonly be known as incest. So he called Herod out on his sins. So Herod captured him and had him locked in prison. Some time later, they had a birthday party. Herodias sent her daughter and she danced to Narnia. Herod was pleased, so he granted her one request. So she asked her mother what request would be best. Her answer, without any stress on the platter, asked for the head of John the Baptist. John the Baptist.